Hello people, this is going to be my second gardening vlog, once again introduced by showing you one of my kitty witties. This is Fluffy. If you haven't seen the first one, link in the description. Yes, 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 oh yes. So, I've been doing some more raking and getting everything, getting the big weeds and big chunks of stuff out of the dirt so now I'm gonna be transplanting some of these little volunteers which as far as I can tell are mini pumpkins and I'm gonna be taking them over there where my kitty cat is sitting right now let's get started are you supervising are you supervising yeah yeah now since all these little guys have grown up far too close together to stay that way, I'm going to be separating out each of these and planting them a little ways apart. Ooh, there's a little really poly. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of bugs. You kind of just have to deal with it. That's why I've got gloves on. I really don't like bugs touching my bare skin, but on the gloves it's all right. So I'm going to take all these apart and plant each one and one of these holes here that I've lined up just like I've done with these little guys so if you wanted to know what a pumpkin sprout looks like without the dirt I'll pull them apart very carefully very carefully just pull them apart and there you go it's this big long white thing from wherever it germinated to however long it took to get out of the dirt. I've seen them very long, because in my compost pile from last year, some of them were way down beneath when they germinated, and they made a really long pole to get out and make their little leaves. So, however far it takes, that's how far they go, and they have their roots just there. You pretty lady? Are you pretty lady? Yes? Yes? Do you like to move your head away when you're getting petted? Yes? Yes? Zipper, commonly called Zippy Boo. 
he's our oldest cat. He's 12 or so. Aren't you? Yes. Yes. He's a grumpy old curmudgeon. Aren't you? So this is the almost finished bean pole apparatus. We've got the main poles that will be holding most of the bean, uh, the climbing green bean stock weight here, and then these in the dirt to, uh, well they're all in dirt, to uh, anchor those so that they don't collapse downward like this. So I'm going to have three rows of beans and I'll be hanging the uh, individual little strings for each of the bean plants to climb on once some of them sprout so that I won't be pl uh, hanging more than is necessary. Well, I was going to chop this whole area with my hoe, but it seems we've got a little friend here, so I'm going to gently move him somewhere safer. Oh yes, Aylmer's come to check on us. Yes, what do you need? Oh, I see, pits. Well, I have to deal with the ladybug first. Yes, come here. Mm. Let's put you down. You can go live with the raspberries. Now, what are you doing? Oh, we want to play chase. That stupid cat led me through the sticker weeds. So I've got a few different planting methods depending on how big uh, the plants I'm growing are and how they like to grow. Like you saw with the corn, I was doing it all in rows. And in this sort of area here, I've been planting smaller things that grow close together like carrots and what else? Carrots and onions. But now I'm planting some bigger things like kohlrabi here and also uh, green pepper plants. So I have to plant them farther apart. So I'm going to show you how I do that and make it easier for myself when weeding. Basically, these are supposed to be, the plants are, the individual plants are supposed to be 12 to 16 inches apart. So, because not every seed is going to come up, I'm going to put about three there. And they're supposed to be covered with about an eighth of an inch of uh, soil. So I'm just going to kind of swoosh it around like there. Because better to do less covering, in my experience, than more. And then, to make it easier for myself to weed later, I'm going to put a little marker by it. I basically just use anything that's around the garden. I've got a little collection here to make it easier for me. Uh, a lot of kind of medium sized rocks and little fat chunks of wood that will stay there throughout the summer and that way uh, before they sprout and when I'm looking t uh, to see if they sprouted I'll have an easier time finding them because all around here will be grown up with little itty bitty weeds like about this size. And so, if I have this rock here, I don't have to check all the plants around in this area to make sure they aren't the kohlrabi I'm trying to grow. So I can just indiscriminately pull everything out here. And then I just have to be careful checking around the area near the rock. And you can see I've already done that where I've planted my green pepper plants. You see I've got rows of little pairings of, or single bigger rocks that show me where I've planted my pepper seeds. And that way, weeding's easier. And it will be especially useful with the kohlrabi because uh, I don't know what their seedlings look like yet. So they'll be easier to find if I have to search a smaller area. And that's the kohlrabi finished. So that's my gardening for this week. I'll see you in the next video.